Guys, just take a look at this. Toyota just dropped the all new fourth generation 2021 minivan, the Sienna. It's all new and it appears to be one of the most off road worthy, overland and camping worthy, one of the most fuel efficient and maybe even stylish minivans ever. So how come? We'll just take a look at these images that Toyota has provided. It appears they have filmed this initial launch of the vehicle near Moab, maybe Onion Creek, maybe near Grand Junction, Colorado. So I think they are looking at this as the next ultimate people and stuff mover. Um, if you don't need to tow a lot, this potentially could be the vehicle of choice for many many large families so let's dig in and figure out what makes this particular minivan very very special first let's take a look at the powertrain all new 2021 all new toyota siennas are going to be offered with hybrid gasoline electric powertrain so there's not going to be any powertrain choices at least not for 2021 initially and it combines a 2.5 liter gasoline four-cylinder engine which is one of the most energy efficient engines that Toyota has. It's an Atkinson cycle and when you combine it with an electric motor, the total power output for this minivan is 243 horsepower. They do not list the total torque. Uh, Toyota doesn't usually list total torque output on their hybrid systems. And this is basically a very similar powertrain, if not identical powertrain, that they have currently available in the new 2020 Toyota Highlander SUV. And Toyota says that they styled this particular new Sienna with um, inspiration from a crossover or an SUV. Just look at the body lines on the side. Uh, yeah, it's pretty dramatic and it kind of hides the fact that this is a very long wheelbase vehicle and it's got gigantic doors. Obviously it should if it was, you know, the ultimate family mover. Here's what it looks like from the rear. And I think the rear styling may be even better than the front or the side. It looks to me like a Lexus SUV or maybe the next generation Lexus uh, sedan. Uh, very, very neat. It looks like Toyota is very serious to take on competition. And in this video, I'm also gonna show you how it compares against the Honda Odyssey and the Chrysler Pacifica, which are the other players in this space. The all-wheel drive system on this new Sienna will be very similar to the Highlander, which means there's not really a drive shaft connecting the front, where the engine is, and the rear. The electric motor in the rear is actually powering the rear wheels, if it needs to. Uh, they're calling it intelligent all-wheel drive. The transmission is eCVT, Toyota estimates that the new Sienna will have a 33 MPG combined rating. Yes, 33. If you wanna see how it compares to the competition, let me show you here on my screen. Here I pulled up the fueleconomy.gov ratings, uh, EPA ratings for the new 2020 Honda Odyssey with its V6 engine, which is the only powertrain available right now in the Honda with a 10 speed. It has a 22 MPG combined rating. The regular Chrysler Pacifica for 2020 also has a 22 combined MPG rating. And finally, the plug-in hybrid Pacifica that's currently available on sale has either a 30 MPG combined rating when you consider the full driving range or also 82 MPGE or MPG equivalent when it's running on electric power, which the Pacifica can. The new Sienna will have several driving modes including EV, but very limited electric range. We're talking about like a mile or two, nothing like this plug-in hybrid uh, Pacifica can do. Um, and, and also I'll show you a little bit later how the pricing might compare, although we do not have the official price on the brand new 2021 Toyota Sienna. So let's dig a little deeper. So uh, how does it compare to the Highlander that's also available and on sale right now? You can go out and buy yourself a new um, hybrid Highlander, which shares a lot of the structure and the components and the platform with a new Sienna. Well, the two-wheel drive Highlander 
has a 36 MPG rating combined, and the all-wheel drive New Highlander has a 35. So the 33 and the Sienna might be due to additional size and weight of that vehicle uh, because it's using a very similar powertrain, but gets a slightly lower MPG than the Highlander. But still, 33 blows the other minivans out of the water. And I just kind of picked some of the more popular ones. I'm not going to bring up Dodge Caravan right now, the older platform. Uh, that's for another video. Uh, pricing, we don't know. So I'm not going to kind of go there right quite yet. But the new Sienna has, will be offered in five different trim levels. So let me show you just some of them here. You already saw the XSC, more of the sporty one. Let's look at the Platinum one because that's going to be the highest end available um, on the Sienna, the most luxurious one, and the minivan that could be well over into the $50,000 range. Um, I'm using the pricing available on the Highlander currently to extrapolate what the Sienna will cost because Toyota has not unveiled official pricing for this uh, brand new 2021 Sienna yet. But this is the Platinum Edition. There will also be LE, XSE, XLE, Limited, and this Platinum, so five of them. Some of the other new features available on the new Sienna will be uh, kick-activated side doors. So you've seen this before where you come up to the rear hatch of an SUV or a minivan, you kick the foot underneath the rear and um, the rear hatch opens. Well now Toyota is using the same technology to open the side, both of the sliding doors on the side. So that's something new as well. Uh, is, what about volume, total passenger volume, total cargo volume? Uh, it, this is a very big uh, vehicle and it will hold a family of eight, uh, well, with very little problems. And this is what minivans, of course, are very good at in general. And total passenger volume on the new 2021 model is 162.5 cubic feet. Okay, that sounds like a lot, but what does that mean? Um, I'm going to compare it to something completely different. I'm not going to compare it to the Odyssey or the Pacifica. I'm going to compare this to the new 2021 Chevy Tahoe. Why? Because the new full-size SUV is the other option for a big family. And the Tahoes you would buy if you want to tow. The new Tahoe will be able to tow about 8,400 pounds. The new Sienna, according to Toyota, is rated to tow... 3,500 pounds, 3,500 pounds, which is decent for a minivan, but it's not, you know, that great if you consider uh, what an SUV can do. The new Tahoe has 168 cubic feet of total passenger volume versus 162 in the Sienna. So they're very comparable. So if you can picture the new Tahoe, which is now grown in size, the Sienna is very comparable. The Sienna has 33.5 cubic feet of cargo space behind the third row when the third row is upright for people. And that's partially because there's a deeper uh, area inside the Sienna because most minivans now have that kind of trunk area that goes deep inside the vehicle. And of course the Tahoe, the new one with a lot more cargo capacity is less than the Sienna. The Tahoe has 25.5 cubic feet of rear cargo volume behind the third row. So the Sienna has is more coverness in the back than a, even a Tahoe. Not a Suburban, no. The Suburban is still bigger. Just look at these shots. Toyota is taking the Sienna overlanding on dirt roads near Moab, it appears. How come we didn't get the chance to drive it? Well, no journalist have driven it yet. Um, this is a virtual debut that they're unveiling the new Sienna uh, this way. And uh, we might see more debuts that are done this way. Here's some other views of this new van. On the inside, um, it has a lot of new features. It has this new, they call a bridge console on the in interior, which kind of stretches between the driver and the passenger. There's a column, not a column shift, but a center console transmission shifter and it's supposed to predict your driving styles it's supposed to remember traffic conditions this is supposed to be a very clever power system very very efficient in the real world as well of course a brand new interior as you can see different seat options four climate zone 
controls on the on the higher end models you have the uh, rear camera mirror um, of course available so you don't have to stare at the people behind you you can just look behind you behind the vehicle using the camera system here's another look at the center console and the center infotainment screen it has 16 cup holders because you know at least each person must have at least two drinks um, it has a central vacuum system which is optional so very similar to what other manufacturers has done but but now it has a vacuum system it also has a two-stage um, refrigerator and Toyota says you can keep either cold things cold or frozen things frozen so this is pretty impressive um, it must be a very powerful system if you can you know throw something frozen in there and actually maintain that temperature which is pretty impressive at least to me uh, on the technology side it has Apple CarPlay Android Auto Amazon Alexa Sirius XM all access for three months initially it has a 12 speaker JBL audio system on the high end with 1200 watts of power that's a lot of power on this, on this audio system. It has wireless charging, um, many other features you come to expect from a modern people mover. It has a color heads up display if you want to get fancy. And of course, Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, which includes adaptive cruise control, uh, pedestrian and bicycle collision um, assist. So it will either warn you or try to prevent an accident. It has, you know, 360 degree cameras, uh, sonar, obviously for park assist. So it has many of those features. Also has uh, lane keep. So it will try to straighten you in your lane on the highway with lane tracing, which is a new feature. So it has all of that. How much will this van cost? We don't know officially. The 2020 Toyota Highlander starts at around $38,000. Um, this new Sienna could start at that price, but both the Odyssey and the new Pacifica start at much lower pricing, around 30000 or 31000 So to be competitive, the base Sienna has to start either in the mid or low $30,000 range. And of course, a fully loaded van could be, you know, 50 or 52 or 55000 bucks, maybe a little bit more, because you have also luxury features like reclining second row captain seats with ottoman so it's like basically they say it's like a private jet but yes it could be a very comfortable cruiser going down the highway on a road trip um, so that's all we know we don't know exactly when it drops when it's going to reach dealerships uh, it's a 2021 model so my personal guess if all things you know work out it could be here by the end of this year uh, of course, it could be delayed due to other virus shutdowns. And guys, go back to tflcar.com for the latest news on this and all other vehicles, including the new 2021 Toyota Venza that also dropped today.